Hello everyone, I'm Replay Taya Heretic, and welcome back to Kirby Superstar. In the last episode, we did Dynablade and Gourmet Race, and in this episode, we are going to play the Great Cave Offensive, which I botched the name like four times in the last episode. Not very good for anyone that likes this game, or remembers it distinctly from their childhood. Alright, time to learn, people. Find treasures throughout the cave. It's fun and exciting. You must find as many hidden treasures as you can. If you find a treasure, move Curvy to it and press up. Push X to see the treasures you found. There are 80 treasures in all. There are lots of treasures hidden in various places. There are a total of 60 treasures. I was wrong. I was wrong. See how many you, how many can you find? Whoops. Alright, so the Great Cave Offensive is pretty much just a collect-a-thon. You solve various puzzles and everything, and you defeat various bosses. If you do things the right way, then you get a treasure. There are 60 treasures in all, each of them with varying values, and some of them are references to various other games. Some of them are easy, some of them are incredibly hard to get. And I'm going to see how many I can get in this run. Alright, there's a second treasure, that is the gold coin. Not as much as the gold medal, but you know, what can you do? Fighter is also probably one of the more popular moves you'll see in this game. Which one do I want to destroy again? This one. Yeah. This one. Okay, and this one will lead us to treasure number three. The whip. The whip. Gotta love myself some whipping. Alright. I want to keep my treasure. Oh well, I guess I kept my move anyways. I remember more treasures, for some reason. Maybe it's in a different area. Oop, well. Ooh, that was poor. I'll get ready to see this mess mess up a lot. Okay, I want to hit this one and this one. No. One and two. Alright. You don't want to mess up too bad, otherwise you really mess yourself up. Okay. That should get us the crystal ball. Worth a lot for a crystal ball, you know. Okay, we're still on. We're still good for current treasures. I don't really want to miss a treasure this run because I've always kind of been a problem completionist. Where it's like, I will try to complete something until my attention span tells me otherwise. So I actually do want to try to get a completion for this. Which means that in uh, Milky Way Wishes, I'm probably going to have to be very careful with, uh, with, like, trying to find all the powers. Because I don't know where everything is. <laughs> Alright, so that's all in this area. This episode will, this, this uh, minigame will take multiple episodes. Okay, I don't want to break that middle block, because that's where the treasure lands. should be fine. Go down. Okay, now hopefully we can do this. Okay. And get the Seiryu sword. Don't think I have... don't think I said that right. Probably gonna get comments telling me if I said it wrong. If I get comments at all. <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay, there should be something up there. Nope, nothing over 
here. Yep, right here. Get some Eshigo candy. Okay, go down here. Okay, I need beam, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna need beam for that. Thankfully, there's a beam right over there. Snap this beam. Yeah, so there are gonna be ability specific. Uh, there are gonna be ability specific treasures that you're gonna need to get. And the screwball, that's a reference to Metroid. And let's see here. They're gonna be timing specific and puzzle specific uh, treasures. So, some things are gonna be a lot more complex than others. And I think there are a total of four areas in this game. Okay, I'm just gonna look up here real quick. All right, there is a treasure right there, so I'm gonna have to wanna get back. Yeah, nice, nice aerial kick there, Knuckle Joe. Off we go, off we go. To the land. Before time. Okay, that is an M. That is a Maxim tomato, what I don't want. I still think that the name Metamato sounds, Metamato sounds really weird. Like, that sounds like a really ridiculous name, honestly. Okay, just to make sure I have all my treasures. Yep, so far so good. Doing good. Oh, well, that was fun. <laughs> I forgot you could do that. Okay, that is plasma that I want. Plasma's always good. Starstone. Cool. Well, that was a wasted effort on that on plasma wisp stuff. Plasma wisp. I can't talk. That was a wasted effort on Plasma Wisp's part. Beast's Fang. Cool. And soda, that's always a good combo, too. But... Okay, now if I remember right, I am going to need Cutter for this next treasure. Or maybe Mirror? Nope, I am going to need Cutter. Uh-oh. Well, there goes my partner. Okay, I gotta go back and get Cutter. Now I have to actually be careful now, because I don't want to. I don't want to lose Cutter now. Oh well, now I have a hit, and I lost that hit. Ugh! Oh, come on. <laughs> Blind spot. Blind spot. Oh, and I'm all the way back here. All right, because I forgot to save. Yeesh. Well, at least I can get a Cutter here. Yeah, so, in order for you to not have to start over from the very beginning, you are going to have to want to get, uh, save points. There is a save point every so often, 
the doors are indicated by more shiny stars. And I completely miffed that up. I don't think wing would work. No. <laughs> it's really hard to keep commentary going with this kind of game because I have to kind of pay attention to something, otherwise I'll miss something. So, I want to make sure that I don't miss anything important. You know, like a save. Okay, here we go. Get a maximum tomato. And off we go again. Oh, wait, that's a cutter. Shit. <laughs> I had to stare at it for a minute. I was like, ah, come on. <laughs> oh, that ended poorly for everyone. There's my cutter. I'm about to lose my cutter again. Perfect. Things are going swimmingly. Just grab this. I've never actually seen it mirror or try to mirror my moves, honestly. That's a new thing for me. Ooh, boy. Okay, so I need to destroy these blocks in order to get this treasure chest down. And then I can open that up. There we go. Bandana. With two ends. Oh, come on! <laughs> what the hell? It's like the cheapest blow to end all cheap blows. Ooh, hello. Can I help you, sir? Springtime is... There are only four areas in this game. I think each area has a treasure. Ugh, I'm completely eating it. Thankfully, I don't have to... Oops, shit. Uh, thankfully, I don't have to deal with everything. Like, I don't have to deal with getting each treasure. Damn it, I keep pressing start. Okay, springtime, I got all the treasures here, at least. Yep. It's a bit of a risky job, but... It was worth it. Yeah, so Cutter's probably one of the most recognizable abilities in the Kirby franchise. It's fast, it's powerful, and it's versatile. Just like... Sword. But who cares about sword? Okay, it should be all the treasures. And let's see here. This boss is going to be Whale Man. Yeah, so each boss is unique to this is unique to in the Great Cave Offensive. So each little each little boss is unique. should be a jump coming up soon, and that will knock us off, because it is a water. It is full of water. Also, I'm sorry if my commentary is lacking for this section, because I don't really have much to talk about. Uh, because this area is actually really unfamiliar to me. These episodes will take up about half an hour each, uh, because I'm going to be covering two areas each episode. So we're off to the next area.
which is good because my computer just uh, went into my, my my monitor just went into sleep mode. Used to never do that until recently, which is weird. I thought I fixed it. Okay, next area is the caves. Now, hopefully, now there's a now there's gonna be something down here that I want. It's a dime. And I think if I go further down, there's another treasure right underneath it. Glass slippers. Yep. And I'm gonna grab this one up just for posterity. Okay. Now, is that the only place to go? Yeah. So let's go down. Okay. Uh, yeah, what do you know? Alright, there's a save point here I'm gonna take. I did not want to lose my cutter ability. Sorry, Sir Kibble. Another day. Rest well, pirate. My words, they make no sense. Hmm, that was a very well-placed cutter, honestly. That's a treasure I want. Goblet. Now just make sure I didn't miss anything. Once you transition from an area, you usually can't return. So I, I have to make sure that I get everything in one go. Yep. Saucepan. It's a treasure that's not very worth it, but hey, it's a treasure that I need to collect. Do I need something for that? Bomb? Maybe? What do I need for that? I can't remember what I need. I need something that can go through walls. Let me just try getting a bomb real quick. I don't know what I need. Weird. can't remember what I need. For that door. Oh wait, no I know. I need- I need crash. <laughs> Trick. A little hitch to the giddy up. Okay, now there might be a treasure. Yep, down here. We got a button that'll take us up. Okay, I want to make sure that I actually get this guy. Oh, well, he died. Just in case, you know. An amber rose, always good. Okay, I'm gonna drop this down. How do I drop? There we go. Oh, shit. <laughs> A sequence of events that went horribly wrong. Yep. Ah! Okay, I think this just... No, this actually heads to a secret door. With two treasures. Fish fossil. And I think the other one is... A beast fossil. Yep. I want to say that those are references to the Pokemon fossils, but I don't know. They're probably not, and I'm just overthinking things. Which I'm used to doing. Uh, alright. Got a boss. Pretty easy boss, honestly. Nunchucks. Yeah, I should have gotten... Damn it, I keep doing that. Should have gotten all the treasures. Yeah, there were like six treasures in this area. Plenty of treasures for everybody. Okay, I need to go into the right one now. Oop. Uh, get an ancient gem. One part of yin and yang, I think. Actually, no, I think that's a soul... It's like a chakra stone or something. Falcon Helmet. That's a reference to Captain Falcon from Star Fox. <laughs> Star Fox, no, F-Zero. You just... Uh oh. They just steal your ability real quick and then slaughter you with your own moves. Always fun. Always fun slaughtering people with their own tricks. 
Nope. No stealing for you. And no stealing for you either. There's a lot of thieves. Aw, oh, come on. Jeez. Uh, right, I need that. That wasn't too bad. Thank goodness for clipping. Dud. Good. I wanted a missile in my pockets. I really wanted a potentially explosive missile in my pockets. That's, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's interesting. I don't think there's anything here. This is just there. Oop. And jump. Uh-oh. Oh, wait, that's a wheel section. I think. Hold on. Theory time. Yep, it's a it's a wheel section. Okay, that should give us the truth mirror with a lot. And let's see here. Next up is nothing. Yep, that's everything, okay. I'm going to pick wing for my partner. Or you could do that, too. I'll pick wing. This is one of my favorite bosses. <laughs> it's actually one of my favorite bosses in terms of creativity. It's a DOS RPG. A very creatively designed DOS RPG, too. Okay, let's see here. In between turns, we can actually switch powers, which I think is great. So... Yeah, I, I gotta admit, this is probably one of my favorite bosses, just because of its creativity. Like, it's a mix of... It's a mix of, like, new and interesting, but it's kind of like a, a parody. Like, it's still... Like, it's still in context a Kirby... Like, a Kirby fight, but in its own special way. And I always thought that was an interesting look on it. Okay, this next one should do it. Can't deal with that, huh? Kirby and company defeat all enemies. You earned 219 experience points. You earned four tenderness points. You earned two courage points. You earned two greediness points. You earned four appetite points. You earned two beauty points. You earned two friendship points. And I earned repetitive speaking. It's really weird. The X button pauses as well, unless you're not in there. Uh oh. Well, looks like we have to go back. Right, because I didn't go in that middle door. Right, let's go back real quick. Sorry, backtracking time. Good, I have a thief now for a teammate. And he just got stolen by a thief. Huh. I, I want to call that ironic, but I don't know if that counts. Okay, so... That's a treasure that we can't get because the current down there is far too strong. So what we gotta do is... We gotta go all the way through this section. I'm gonna real quick charge up my plasma so I have a shield. And then, well, I can't exactly have a shield underwater, which sucks. Uh, there are two treasures down here that I'm going to want to get. 
One of them is under a very strong undercurrent, or undertow. Get a bucket. It's labeled M, that's a reference to Mario and Wario, which is a Japanese-only game. Uh, pretty much the game was that uh, you had a fairy partner, and every single time the bucket flipped over, uh, Mario would be controlled by Wario. Interesting idea for a game on it. It, it was apparently a puzzle game, I can't remember though. I can't remember for the life of me what the context was. <sighs> ah! <laughs> Jet, why? Uh, down here is a giant spike puzzle chamber. Not really a puzzle, but just a intense platforming section. Okay, that's the treasure, I think. Summertime! Okay, let's see here, where's summertime on that? Okay, so I'm still missing a, I'm still missing a couple treasures, apparently, in this section. Okay, where does this go? Okay, that's where I don't want to go. Okay, I've just got to be very careful with my fluttering. Uh oh Oof. Okay, that's maximum tomato. That's always friendly. Yeah, well, there's a bit of a there's a bit of a downtime between being able to do the being able to hover or float, I guess you could say. There's a bit of a downtime after losing it. Okay, now I just got to be very careful. All right, I'm gonna face some swift resistance. Uh oh, I went the wrong way. Oh god, the toast. That's poor. That's poor thinking on my part. Don't worry, guys. We'll be done with this area soon. I just want to make sure that I actually have everything uh, in this area. We'll be done with this episode very soon. Ow! If, unless I die, then... That sucks. Come on, come on. Yes, there we go. Hundred dollar coin. Better than that dime we got earlier. Okay, now let's get out of here. Let's real quick get a maximum tomato from the save point. Yes. And heal. Perfect. Now we can go. <laughs> Hopefully we got everything. Yep, looks like we have everything. So yeah, there are four areas, each resembling a season. This one is summertime, the other one is springtime. So once we get uh, the so once we get the wintertime heart, then that means that we are near the end of the game. The last treasure though is not wintertime. Contrary to proper relief. And I still can't say proper syllables. I've been talking for like two hours like three hours now. Can't really blame me. I'm going to be ending this session with Monster Hunter. Because I feel as though it deserves at least a couple episodes recorded today. After playing a bunch of Kirby and Yoshi, uh, <laughs> Yoshi Safari. I love how in context I am, even though I know that these probably won't be uploaded in the same speed or at like, the same time. Now, over on the left, we should have a save point. There should be a save point around here somewhere. There it is. Okay, so this is probably one of the most difficult areas in the game because of how much stuff there is in the castle. Uh, so, yeah. In the next episode, we are going to advance further and get all the treasures that we possibly can. Hopefully, I'll get all the treasures so you guys can know where they are in case you all are completionists. So until next time, I am Replay Heretic, and I will see you in the next episode.